it is Sunday and for those of you guys who have seen my Sunday routine video, you guys know that on Sundays I always prep my food, that are my dinners for the week on Sunday because I am a working mom and so this just helps me out during the week on those busy days, Monday through Thursday, to get dinner um, on the table at a good time. So tonight, the hubby is actually cooking on the grill outside, and we're cooking Sunday dinner out, cooking Sunday dinner on the grill outside, which we're gonna have a barbecue ribs and macaroni and cheese. And then tomorrow's dinner is gonna be these onion, these savory onion uh, meatballs um, with some egg noodles. So I prepped the meatballs already. I actually made a double batch. So I have this one that we're going to serve tomorrow and the recipe has the recipe for this is the meatballs and then you make this creamy sauce and it goes over the egg noodles and it's so delicious. So I prepped the meatballs and already um, pre-cooked them. So I bagged some uh, for to make um, to have it in the freezer for a freezer meal. And like I always do, I always put the date, what it is, and I put if I cooked it all the way or if I didn't. Because sometimes I put meat that's not cooked all the way depending if I get it from the store in time and I if I get them from the store raw and I make it as soon as I get home I um, leave it raw and cook it the same day but since I've had this in the refrigerator and I've already thawed it I didn't want to thaw it out free freeze it and then you know thaw it out again so I cook the meatballs so all I have to do whenever I make this recipe is make the sauce put the meatballs in the sauce to warm them through cook the noodles and then I'm done so this meal is going to be less than 15 minutes to make tomorrow because the meatballs are already done for Tuesday, I have, you know, it's my Taco Tuesday, so we're going to have tacos. And so I have taco meat that I browned up as well. So this taco meat is going to be for Tuesday. I have the kiddos coming in from inside. That's the loud noise. So this taco meat is for Tuesday. It's all browned up and seasoned and ready to go. So it's going to stay in the refrigerator. All I got to do is heat it up and put it either, you know, with some tortillas or some chips, depending on how the kids want to eat it and the hubby wants to eat it. And then I also made a second batch to put in the freezer. And I have them in these, um, these little baking pans right now laying flat because I'm going to put them in my deep freezer. And that way they can freeze laying flat so that when I store them in my other freezer, they can just stack up on top of each other. And then Wednesday is breakfast for dinner night and I never prep ahead of time for breakfast for dinner night because breakfast is made so easily. And that is the night that I usually take the girls to tumbling class and the hubby kind of makes dinner for us and by the time we get home, um, it's already ready. Thursday is always my leftover night so I don't cook then. And then Friday, I have more time because I don't work Saturday and Sunday. So um, it's good. we're gonna have chicken wings and fries on Friday. So then I would just, you know, thaw up the chicken that day, you know, leave it out while I'm at work. And then the chickens are ready to like fry up. And then Saturday I have more time. So technically I always like prep my meals for Monday through Thursday, but it's usually only the Monday and Tuesday meals that I really have to prep the meat because Wednesday is breakfast for dinner night. So you don't, I really don't make the head of that and Thursday is left overnight. So yeah. So if you haven't seen the Sunday routine video, I'll put the card up here so you guys can check that out. And I'm actually probably going to take you through my day today. Um, cause I know some people want to see how it goes. So I think that's what I'm going to do in this vlog. I'm going to take you through the day of me prepping on Sunday. So here's the hubby out here listening to music while he's warming up the grill so that we could put those ribs on there and then I'll make the macaroni and cheese. And then the girls are out here playing on the, on the water slide. They love this water slide. It's like a staple to play with every day. And then she's also in her little car. That's Bree Bree. Hi Bree Bree. So I'm prepping, they're already, they're already thinking it's summertime. Everybody's ready for summertime. Ari's inside? What? Ari's inside? Yeah. Okay. This is the little power wheel that I showed y'all and when we did in that Toys R Us video, how I said that we had one of these, but it didn't look like the one they have now. See, ours looks a little bit different. It's almost the same, but they kind of added different things to it. We've had this for like, how old was Brie when we got this? I think she was like four or three. Not two, because we were in Virginia. I think you were three. And you're how old now? Eight. Yeah, these little bugs are all getting on me. So we've had this for like five years now, still going. Roll off, baby, let me see you. You're too cool, Brie. Eight years old, she can still fit in that thing. Cause she's short like her mama. She's short like her mama. So usually both girls are playing outside, but somebody feels sick. So she's laying in my bed because she's loving the new mattress that I got. And the pillow that she has a pillowcase off of it. So she's on there doing, she's in my room doing what she does best, being on the phone. Right? Yeah. Are you talking to your little group chat? Yeah. Yeah. Your squad. Yep. 
They have a little squad. They think they're so cool. <laughs> a little squad. And then they have the, like a little group chat, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when are you starting your channel? I this summer? Know, probably this summer, yeah. Because I'm going to have like more stuff to do and more free time to do it. So. Are you going to edit your stuff or are you going to make me edit? No, I'm going to watch you edit. I'm going to hover over you as you edit so I can learn. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. Did you get? Some, did you take some of your snacks? Oh, no. Okay, well, go get some medicine. It tastes so gross. I know. So another thing that I do on Sundays that I told you guys is I check my family command center to kind of see what's going on this week. And I also make sure that my menu is already planned for the week. I usually do this on Fridays, but sometimes things can get busy. So I always make sure I check that to make sure that I did it for the week. And I did. That's the meals that we're going to have this week. Then I also come and check the girls' uh, chore chart, um, chore checklist to make sure they've done their chores for the week to see if they get their allowance for Monday, um, which both girls have. They just had, you know, Ariana had two times where she didn't do her chores. That's why she has an X. And then Brianna has one. So, but they got more checks than X's. So they will be getting their money for the week tomorrow. So I'll just come here and I'll check the week that we're on. And we are on this week here. And I'm just looking. I know that we have teacher appreciation this week. So I want to make sure that I get something for the teachers. And we have a birthday party coming up. So I also, um, and gym, some gymnastics and tumbling. And I also have an eyebrow appointment on over there on Thursday at 4 2. So I kind of check the That's family command right. center, make sure that everything is written out so that the family can know and also for me to know as well. So this family command center is kind of one of my most uh, viewed videos. This family command center is actually my first video. So um, I will put the link up here if you guys haven't seen this. Um, it's really a great way to keep things organized. I have mailboxes to keep all the things of the important papers and chore. Um, you know, chore cards here. And I go more into detail about every little thing in it. It's my first video, so um, don't be too harsh because <laughs> it was my first video. But um, I will put the link in the description box below and also up here so you guys can check that out. It has a great information. I go into detail about every little thing and this really helps me and my family to stay organized. And also it helps out with the, the kids chore checklist, which I will actually be changing this soon. So stay tuned for um, a new video. I'll be changing this and the chore cards. Um, sometimes you pick things that do work well, but then sometimes, you know, if kids get older, you move into different houses, things change and you got to change your systems up. So I'm actually going to change this system, but I do have a video for both those things. I'll put in the description box below on how I do their chores and their chore cards. And it's real simple, great way to keep your kids on track as well. I got the mac and cheese all done, ready to go. Now I just have to wait for the hubby with the barbecue ribs. I'll be about to take the ribs off the grill. Ooh, those look good. Wait, like blocking me, babe. We got this little sheet thing that we bought that we actually saw it on TV. And then they actually had it at the store. It's kind of like you can reuse it and um, you can cook anything on it so that it doesn't like stick to the, the grill things, but it still gives you like the grill marks. You gonna baste this some more? Only one side, the first one. Oh, that looks good. Mm -mm -mm. So another thing I prep on Sunday besides the dinners is I prep the snacks for the week. So this week um, I bought grapes and cucumbers. And so these are the ones that I had to like pre-pack and pre-portion. I have some other snacks that they can pack for their lunches and after school snacks. But these are the ones that I need to wash or chop up and pre-pack them and put them away. Round and round we go, losing self-control. I keep telling myself, but I don't want to let you know. Is this what we become? Strangers on the run Looking for something Chasing the sun All those days Trying to find a place A place where you'll make them just be alone So now I've shampooed her hair in the sink and um, I have her sitting on the this little stool over here 
while she watches TV with me and I'm gonna separate her hair and detangle it with a conditioner and then she'll just rinse the rest of the conditioner while she goes take a bath afterwards. So I just finished adding conditioner to all parts of her hair and detangling it. So it's all detangled. So now what she's going to do is she's going to go take um, a shower and wash herself. And then the last minute before she gets out the shower, that's when she'll rinse out the conditioner and then I'll style her hair for tomorrow. But that is basically what I do with her hair. And then my oldest does her hair now. So that's um, better for me because then I don't have to do two hair, two heads of hair on Sunday. So here is the drawer in my refrigerator that I put all the snacks for the kiddos for the week. Um, if you haven't seen that video on how I pre-portion and pre-pack ki my kids' snacks, I will put a card up here and I'll put a link in the description box below. But it shows in detail how I portion out certain snacks. But now for the week, all they have to do is go in here and pick the things that they need for their lunchbox. And also when they come home from school and want an afternoon snack, they can pick something from here as well. So I have like the Danimals here. I have cheese sticks there. Um, I have the Go-Gurts there. I have these um, yogurts for me that are so delicious. I have um, the fruits, um, the cucumbers and the grapes that I showed you a few minutes ago. Um, and then I have here like different desserts. I have, um, this one has peanut butter cookies. And then these have the little um, shredded wheat sweet treats that I shared with you guys a while back. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put it up here as well. It's a great snack for the kiddos to make. And then I also have uh, blueberry muffins in one of these little containers as well. So those are like little desserts that I put in there. Um, and then I have the applesauce and the fruit packs. Um, sometimes what I normally did to save money was I would buy the jar of applesauce and then I would put them in these little containers. And then I would also buy the canned um, mandarin oranges and put in, in these things as well. I didn't do it this time because I found that for some reason with the mandarin oranges and the applesauce is because my kiddos with their lunch boxes, they sit there and carry their lunch boxes and twist their lunch boxes. They would tend to spill those things. So now all I do is I put grapes, strawberries, and cucumbers in these containers and then I put desserts in these containers because those things tend to not leak. And then these types of stuff that does leak like Th those types of fruits and the applesauce, I just buy them pre-portioned and pre-packed. And also, HEB had a deal on these I shared with you guys in my um, grocery haul that they had a deal on this as well. Um, so it actually came out cheaper than the jar and the can. But that is um, how the snack drawer for the refrigerator looks and all prepped and ready for this week. So another thing that I do on Sunday nights that I forgot to put in my Sunday routine video is that I clip my coupons um, this sometimes I try to do it on this on Sundays, but sometimes the person who get I get coupons from sometimes her supplier doesn't give her the coupons in time. So sometimes it could be Monday or Tuesday, but, um, I actually got them today. So I will be clipping coupons and I actually got four sets today. So yay. So this is my coupon binder right here. Um, I will be doing a video on this because one of my subscribers wanted to see my coupon binder. Now I'm not an extreme couponer, like the ones you see on TV, but I do coupon on the things that I do use for my family. I don't buy things that I don't need. I only purchase the stuff that I do need. So, and these coupons do save me a lot of money. So I'm about to knock that out right now and just clip them and organize them and put them into my binder so that I can plan and look at the sales for this week um, tomorrow. So I am done for the day. I checked my command center. I checked my planner. I prepped my meals for the week. I did my daughter's hair. I got the clothes ready for the week and I cut my coupon. So now I'm about to jump in the shower, wash my hair for the week and get ready for bed. About to watch, um, I try to take a shower, have some, you know, time with the hubby and just watch a show. And then I am done for the day and the night and I'm prepped for this week. And it just prepares me so much for the week because it just seems like Monday through Thursday there's not enough hours in the day 
So um, thank you for joining us and seeing our what we did this weekend on Saturday and uh, also how I get ready for the week on Sunday. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.